Thanks for stopping by again. Um, today's beer is Thomas Hardy's Ale. Give you a good view of the bottle of this one. This one is what's categorised as um, an old ale, so it's beer that's um, that's aged. Now this one is a 2008 bottling, so it's fairly young. Um, they've been brewing this beer since 1968, so they actually have vintages of this going back until then. Um, well, it says on the back that it'll keep for up to 25 years, and uh, but I, I've actually read on the internet that um, it will keep for sort of more than 25 years as well, so it'll keep maturing in flavour, supposedly like a um, like a fine wine. Um, I suppose the only other ale I know like this is maybe Vintage Ale by um, by Fuller's. Now the first vintage of that is actually 1997, um, so they don't have anything going back quite as far as these guys. But yeah, take a look at this bottle. It's uh, it's kind of kind of fancy. They got so this foil on the top here, and then this sort of seal type thing. The badge on the front of it here. They've really gone into a, a lot of detail with this one. Um, it's 11.7 percent, so it's incredibly strong. Um, so it's not going to be for the the faint-hearted, I don't think, this one. Um, 250 milliliter bottle though, so it's not, not a big serving. And um, I thought it would be um, fitting to use a um, wine glass for this one, as it is a little bit more sort of a special occasion kind of beer. Um, if anything, it's, it's almost like a barley wine as well. Anything that sort of strong, you know, between sort of 10 and 12% is almost more like a barley wine. Um, but anyway, um, really excited about this one, and I'm gonna crack it open right now. Underneath the foil, it's actually just a normal cap, though. This uh, thing then comes floating down there. Anyway. Now, um, I think the recommended serving temperature for this is about 12 to 13 degrees C. I think I've got it around about that, so it's only just cool to the touch. That'll uh, help bring the flavour out a little bit more. Anyway, the pour. I have to pour carefully with this because, because it will age over years. Um, it's got a natural sediment in there, it's bottle condition, the yeast is still alive in there. So I'm only going to pour it, uh, when I actually pour the rest of it in here to finish the drink up, um, I'm going to pour really carefully and leave the sediment in the glass there. But anyway, let's see what the nose is like on this one. Mm. It's um, quite caramelly. It's uh, huge though, suggesting really sort of obvious suggestion of alcohol there. Almost slightly, something slightly orangey about it as well. A bit like orange peel or something like that. Mmm, gorgeous. It smells like it's going to be huge. Barely even have to put your nose to it. Oh, wow. Um, now, I've read that um, drinking these quite young, which this is, it's only a 2008 bottle, so it's barely really a year, a year old. Um, they're a little bit more spicy when they're, um, when they're young like this. Supposedly, if you cellar them for sort of minimum 10 years, they really mellow out. Um, I can definitely get this straight away. It's, uh, it, is, it is huge and malty, very caramelly, um, almost, yeah, very... Very sort of very complex, spicy, sort of caramelliness to it. Um, I guess the spiciness is coming from the hops, and perhaps that's what mellows out over time. But anyway, yeah, this this is truly a special occasion ale. It's it's one to one to be savoured. Really, very very complex. <clears throat> wow, it's um. It's so complex. I mean, the best I can do to describe it is um, really sort of caramelly um, malt texture to it. Um, the sort of a spicy, bitter finish to it. 
um, but hugely complex. There, there's other things going on in there as well, like sort of orange, um, slightly almost almost like a Quantro almost in in, in in some ways. If you've ever had Quantro, the spirit, it's got some of that element to it as well. Really, really gorgeous. Um, I don't know whether anybody outside of Britain will be able to get this. Um, I know they have exported some of the vintages um, to North America. So if you if you do see it, give it a try. Um, truly is a, a stunning beer. One to be savoured. Thanks very much. See you again.